What's up guys, this is Eddie Brad here and I am back again for some more Season 2 of the K-Files, that's right. And you know I love to throw in a little something for the launch. So yeah, I went ahead and stacked some of these uh, structural things here and uh, put them on decouplers. And they are actually being held on with struts right there. And uh, yeah, kind of like some Sepatron things going on. The... Uh, T2 solid ra rocket sep separation retro boosters or whatever they're called and uh, yeah So let's just go ahead and get this behemoth launched I love the Nova punch gas tank with the two engines like this Because it kind of reminds me of the new NASA parts and I went ahead and threw some of the NASA parts I don't know why Nova punch doesn't keep this black only and they throw that red in there I don't know what's up with the red, but I love this this ship right here. I've, I've designed it can launch satellites super far we can go anywhere but for now we're just going to go ahead and get to work on our geostationary or uh, geosynchronous orbit whatever you want to call it around Kerbin and maybe throw one of them around the moon one or two around the moon to make sure that we are ready for our moonar missions so let's go ahead and get to work we have a long way to go there'll probably be a lot of editing in this video um, we'll see so let's go ahead and uh, let me start the timer here as well don't want to forget that because I've been uh, getting too my videos have been getting too long boom I love it separation uh, the separators or whatever they are you know the retro boosters they separate that gap just enough so that uh, those structural things don't hit the uh, boosters all in all this is a very awesome rocket very very awesome rocket. Ever since point two three point five, I don't know if it's just me or if it's a mod I'm using, but there's been some uh, artifacts popping up. I don't know if that's something on my video card settings or whatever, but I keep seeing artifacts popping up on screen. You, you guys might have noticed them, may or may have not noticed them. And uh, let me know in the comments if I'm the only one having this problem or if there's anybody else having the problems. You'll see like lines. Sometimes it looks like a wing popping up in front of the screen. Yeah, I don't know if it's B9 Aerospace. I have a feeling it's B9. But um, just let me know if you guys are experiencing any of those problems. Okay, these uh, are going to separate at different times. Two second intervals. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on there? SAS is going crazy. Two away. Four away. Six away. Eight away. Had to shut the SAS off. It was like wobbling like mad there. I don't know what that was about, but I need to start turning over here. This sucker right here, this stage is going to burn forever. Now I do want to launch into a very high uh, apoapsis, very close to mission control. I don't want to push my speed out right away because I want to have a signal as long as possible. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and fire one of these dishes up. Actually, as soon as we get up into the into space, out of the atmosphere, we'll fire up one of the. Uh, these nice angular ones here, the DTS M1s. Bye bye. Now this is my favorite stage here. It's got two of the SLS 125 Bearcat Series One liquid fuel engines, and uh, their uh, specific impulse, I thought was more than 360, but it's just an amazing setup here. You'll see how long this sucker burns. It burns forever. <clears throat> okay, I'd say it's safe now to activate one of these. Targeting mission control. Okay. If we look at the map. <clears throat> we have the omnidirectional 500 kilometer antenna. But um, we're going to be going a lot farther than that. 
We got solar panels now, so it's okay. Just pushing my height up as well as my speed at the same time. I love this stage right here. It's an awesome stage. Right, go ahead and take SAS off. Just manually control this sucker. Get rid of the wibbledy wobbledy. We want to push our periapsis height up to 2868.75. Time to add collapses is still increasing. Let's put it around there. Beautiful. Let's see, I put SAS on with uh, less fuel in here, it should be better. Not as wibbly wobbly. I don't know, let's see. It's fine. It's fine for now. Once that goes over the horizon, we are screwed. We have to come around again. can see the artifacts popping up on screen. Put the RCS on. Bring us up to 68. 2868. And a little tap there at the end. Okay, because it's got to be 2868.75. You want your orbital speed to be 1,900. Point five or point I gotta look it up exactly what it is, but that's what you want it to be around there. One thousand nine meters per second. Basically you want the surface speed when you're done to be zero. Okay. So um I did bring a little temperature reading, so we could do just like a tad bit of science before we go over the horizon here. Where is it? There it is. Log the temperature. Uh, we can go ahead and transmit that right there, just for the heck of it. You know, Kerbals are about science. we got to have some science. <clears throat> okay. And since we're so high up, you know, if we would have been really low to the ground, we would have been already curving around. And we would have lost our signal a lot sooner. Just lost our signal, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and time accelerate out. Got solar panels on the uh, entire body of this satellite. Ooh. Let's see, are we going to get a signal? Come on. So close. No, we're not going to get a signal in time. the last minute and it is way okay we're gonna have to wait for the next uh that sucks we're gonna get a signal any second no perfect we'll just wait for the next time which will probably be in the dark surface is moving by at 400 meters per second rcs at the last second uh come on Get lined up. Let's go ahead and burn early. I want to bring this up to 0.75. Not too fast, though. Got to bring this up to 7.5. Eventually, I'll turn the RCS on. We want to ditch this now, too. Let's ditch this right here. OK. 
Okay. That pushed us out to set point seven five. Beautiful. The force of that. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's why I did that. Because it messes up your nice, precise orbit. Uh, let's just go out to here. Twenty-eight sixty-three. Need to line ourselves up. It has to be twenty-eight sixty-eight point seven five. If you don't want it to creep around. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Point it down a little. Okay, shut that RCS off, point down, need to point down, 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 shut that off, RCS, and tap it, tap it, tap it, bam, that is pretty circularized, every, t every little tap of that RCS is, is just freaking going past or below so we're gonna do a quick save our satellite is there it's good to go We've got a link towards base we're gonna just leave this engine on just in case we need to uh, fine-tune in the future you know th throughout the career mode we may need to bring this back into its orbit it might veer off we don't know that so let's go ahead and uh, look at this is off here it says but I know it's okay for now so we're gonna leave it like that we're gonna go ahead and turn it like this right here so it gets maximum sunlight as well throughout its orbital period right about there okay <clears throat> we can go to the space center now and we need to get to work on launching another one so this is going to take time like i said we're definitely going to have some cuts for sure this is what you got to do when you have remote tech. If you want to go places and you want to have uh, coverage with your signal, if you want to do unmanned missions and all that good stuff, you need to do this. You have to do this. So, let's go ahead and take a peek here at what's going on. I'm just going to launch right now. Screw it. Three, two, one, and lift off. I love that. I love it. It is so curable. Maybe I should shut down the gimbal here. Thought I just locked it. What happened? There we go. Two away. Four away. Six away and eight away. I love that. I wasn't even looking at what's going on here. The gimbal needs to be turned back on. We're going straight up. Just need to shut that SAS off. I know I'm taking a way, way, way high trajectory on this one. But we got plenty of fuel. It's okay. satellite on we're gonna point it towards mission control and we're gonna activate this one and then on the other side we're gonna turn this satellite on and we're gonna put that one towards the first satellite that we launched and activate that one we need to rename this to sat B and one of them is gonna be called sat A we should have signal pretty good signal because of this <clears throat> a little bit better than last mission Hopefully. Once we get the third one up, we should have full coverage.
Actually, what am I doing? Got to keep pushing it out. 2868. When we go over the horizon and lose signal, we should still have signal from that satellite. Twenty-eight, sixty-eight. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So we can activate these engines. Okay. Yeah, we should have a signal from that satellite, but that satellite is going to be behind Kerbin when we go this way. Let's go ahead and get on out there. See what happens. No connection. Why it's wood? That one's on mission control. That one's on sat one. Eh, I guess it is over the horizon to it. Oh wait, we gotta have this one pointing at this one as well. So what we're gonna have to do? Let's do a quick save. Let's switch to this. We're gonna call this sat A. Let's go ahead and rename this vessel. We'll call it sat one a okay I'd like to put them as stations just because you don't have too many stations and you, you know it keeps them separate and um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this dish down here towards sat one activate that other satellite should have a signal again until this goes over the horizon so we're gonna do a quick save we're gonna look at the map yep see it's got a signal again beautiful now we can switch back to this. Okay, everything's looking good. We're getting our signal from the ground, but being bounced off of the other satellite. Nice. Loving it. I am loving it. Let's go. Let's time accelerate. We're going to lose signal again, but who cares? <clears throat> we'll get signal back pretty soon. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's awesome. I knew it. I knew it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 2868. Let's put the RCS. Okay, the RCS is on. Let's kind of turn over this way. I want to make sure it's at 0.75, as close as we can get it. Ooh, the orbits are, I forgot the inclination, you know, is, is centr uh, inclination has to be really close to zero, like equatorial, and I may have messed that up. We'll see. Tap it, tap it, tap, 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 point seven five. That's good. Alright. Time accelerate. Seven minutes away. Perfecto mundo. One minute away. Let's go ahead and get lined up for a node. Let's make a node. A maneuver. Whatever you want to call it. Circularization. I want to click on that so I can see. I need to move this over towards the node. See how it's drifting? I want to kind of center it right there. That's cool. Back. 
Ooh, ooh, right. Just hold on to it. It'll come on its own. It'll get to its own spot on its own. Let go of it right when it gets there. And bam. Okay. And I'll do the rest with RCS. <clears throat> Okay, doing my burn. Okay, let's go to the map, use our RCS to fine tune. That one's perfect. Just need to bring this one up. right there looking at the bottom seeing which way if, if it's veering I think we need to go towards this way Messing my orbit up. Can't even read it. It's at 2860. I want to bring that up to 2868. We'll just fix it when we get there. Oh, I forgot. I don't even have SAS on. Sixty-five. Let's go ahead and just fix this real quick. Okay, right there. Point pro grade. Messing up big time here. Okay, tap back. Okay, that's good. The RCS is what's messing us up. Just bring it on over here. We lost signal with that one. Gosh darn it. Knew this was going to happen. And eh, we have no signal. And we have no signal. Looks like we're going to have to do a four satellite relay. Didn't want to do that, but that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode for here, guys. I'm going to go ahead, get this finished right here. Maybe even relaunch this one and do the third satellite. I don't know. But for the next episode, we will definitely have these three set up and we'll work on getting one set up on the moon. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.